الحمد للہ رب العالمین و صلی اللہ وسلم علی نبین محمد و علی علیہ و صحبہ و سلم مبع How can we increase our scale of good deeds? As Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala makes clear for us that some people's scales will be heavy on the day of judgment with good deeds. And some people's scales will be light with good deeds. And some will be the opposite. They will have heavy scales of bad deeds, of evil sins and things that they, and maltreatment of, of other people. And others will have bil'aq, the opposite. How can we make our scales heavier? What kind of deeds are beloved to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? And just mentioning one very important thing, which is something that we can implement in our daily lives, all th- in, in all uh, our relationships. And that is the hadith of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, where he said, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, مَا مِنْ شَيْنْ أَتْكُلُ فِي مَيْزَانُ مُؤْمِنْ يَوْمُ الْقِيَامَةِ مِنْ حُسْنُ خُلْقِ وَإِنَّ اللَّهَ يُبْغِذِ وَالْفَاهِشَ الْبَرِيدِ The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, There isn't a thing greater on the scale of the believer than good manners. And very, verily Allah hates sinful speech. So good manners, like treating your wives uh, with kindness, like speaking a good word to your mother and your father, like being kind to all of your, your kinfolk, like treating people you know and those who you don't know, even if you greet them with a smile, with, with goodness and kindness and righteousness. The Prophet ﷺ also said, وَقَالَ صَلَى اللَّهُ عَلَيْهِ وَسَلَّمُ أَثْكَلُ شَيْءٍ فِي مِيزَانٍ خُلْقٌ حَسَنٌ The Prophet ﷺ said in another narration that the heaviest thing on the scale will be good manners. So again, this hadith strengthens the the other hadith that we mentioned. This hadith was collected in Akhrajul uh, Ahmad, and the other one was in Tirmidhi, and they both illustrate for us that there is a, a, a scale in which your good and bad deeds will be weighed. And that one of the ways that you can make your scales heavy is a very simple thing that doesn't require wealth. It doesn't require a lot of time. But it just requires that whenever you do interact with other people, that you show good manners. You exercise restraint. You exercise, you give them their rights. You greet them. You smile at them. You do all of those things which exhibit good moral behavior. And we stay away from those things which are the opposite, of course, like cutting the ties of kinship and cursing others. Because as the Prophet ﷺ said in the first hadith, uh, when he said, مَا مِنْ شَيْنْ أَثْلُوا فِي مَيْزَانُ مُؤْمِنْ يَوْمُ الْقِيَامُ مِنْ حُسْنُ خُلْقِ And then he said, وَإِنَّ اللَّهَ يُبْغِذُ وَالْفَاهِشَ الْبَرِيدِ And verily Allah hates sinful speech. الفاهش البذي or الفشح البذي that when a person uh, is cursing others or a person, you know, the person who gets in conflict and then they have to, they always go beyond the bounds. Some people, they may get into arguments But one of the signs of a hypocrite is that when he argues, he goes beyond the bounds. So this is the person that argues and disputes, but yet they curse and call pe- belittle people and go way beyond the bounds. So that's one of the things that takes away from your good deeds. And that takes away from the rights of other individuals. So that's why it is upon us to try to implement the sunnah of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa by implementing and having good manners and good moral conduct with one another and trying to traverse the sharia in accordance with the Quran and the sunnah of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa and the salaf al-salih meaning the righteous predecessors and I ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to have mercy upon them all and may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless us all with beneficial knowledge and forgive us of our sins and bless us all to be of those who exhibit righteous conduct and, and be of those whose scales are heavy with good deeds. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad.